I'm very, very strong. I can I have overcome a lot of things, but something just makes me just say, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going. I've struggled, but Lift DC has helped me substantially. So without this help, I don't know what I would do. I will probably be close to being homeless or my family not have any of this or be selling half the things we have to make sure we are okay. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Mathematica conducted interviews with workers in low wage labor market to better understand how they experienced and navigated the pandemic. The workers were participants of four different programs in six locations in the United States. These programs provide employment services and coaching to TANF recipients, young adults, and parents and caregivers of young children. Interviewees shared their stories, describing changes in their employment situations during the pandemic, challenges they encountered, coping strategies they used, and how the employment program supported them during this time. The findings from this study may help inform programs that serve similar groups during future economic or public health crises. One of the study's key findings is that the low-income workers we spoke with held jobs that were particularly susceptible to the economic fallout caused by the pandemic. Of the 41 people we interviewed, only five kept the same job with the same number of hours through the pandemic, while the rest experienced a furlough, layoff, termination, change in employer, or reduction in hours. These employment disruptions left them in unstable financial circumstances. I'm used to being able to provide for my family. So that was very hard not working because that's my only source of income, trying to figure out how to make ends meet. To go from having an income to having no income is very difficult. We wanted to buy a house, so we had some money on the side, but that money was gone in the, in the first three months of the pandemic when we, me and my husband were like completely out of work for those three months. Interviewees also told us about the strategies they used to meet their needs during the economic downturn. So hago mi lista nada más de lo indispensable, no voy y compro lo que sea, ¿no? A veces mi hijo me trae, no sé, va a Costco o así a las tiendas grandes y me trae un paquete grande, por ejemplo, de avena, de yogures o así, o jugos, para que nos dure a mí a la niña. Esa es la estrategia que hemos hecho, que compramos muchito y, y este, nos dura más. Interviewees also noted that some of the employment programs provided additional financial support to help them meet their needs, highlighting a strategy that programs could adopt in future economic downturns. I have a car payment. My registration came due on my car payment, and because I owe money to the IRS, there was actually a hold put on, so I couldn't register my vehicle. They actually helped cover over half of the expense necessary in order for me to be able to get past that hold. Despite the challenging circumstances workers faced, including increased caregiving responsibilities, they reported valuing their connection with staff at their employment programs and continued to engage with them. In a time of instability and uncertainty, program staff provided authentic human connection and steady emotional and moral support to the people we interviewed. They were everything to me. If it wasn't for them, I don't know where I'd be. It would be a whole different world if I hadn't have been in that program because I wouldn't mm -hmm. have had support, you know, checking up on me, how I'm doing, what I need. She got me food packages a couple times. I don't think I would have survived this whole thing without her. In addition to the relationships with program staff, interviewees valued that programs could connect them with resources in their communities. The lady who has been working with me, she texts more like, how are you doing? How are things going? How's school? She's like very close, supportive and everything, making sure I have everything I need. And if there is something going on, like at a food bank or something in the community, she sends me a text and she's like, hey, this is going on if you want to go. I may not even be asking for help, but within within 24 hours, 
she has links to me or she has connected me with someone to contact and it, it's just amazing. I really couldn't ask for anything more. Interviewees stories offered insightful lessons about how to support workers in jobs with low wages during these times of economic and public health crises. And interviewees express their hope that these lessons will inform policymakers and practitioners. I hope that you guys can reach out to others and others can reach out to you guys because these families need to be heard. Each individual needs to be heard as well, too, regarding this matter, because no one really knows what goes on behind the door unless they act. For more details about this study and how you might use its findings, visit the linked report and brief in the video description below.